more events take place like this and the more people learn about this uh, fascinating country, I think the better. It's a very good beginning. I would just say just keep doing this great job and of course uh, create more awareness about Karabakh. Create awareness among the American public about Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan's rich culture. Of course, uh, without Karabakh we can't talk about this culture. Tonight means a lot to me as an Azerbaijani. Uh, it means a lot to me uh, as someone who comes from Karabakh. If I could sum up the importance of Uzeyir Hajibayev in the history of Azerbaijan, it would suffice to say that his birthday, September 18th, is celebrated as National Music Day. First opera of the Muslim world, Leili and Majnun, was staged in January 1908. The development so important for the world cultural heritage that UNESCO officially celebrated 100th anniversary of that opera in the year 2008-2009. Leili and Majnun became the first among dozens of his works that always challenged his own time. Seven operas and three musical comedies. Till today a lot of people question how could this young man only at the age of 22 write a full-length opera with a very little formal musical training? The answer to that partially lies in his birthplace, Karabakh, a region of Azerbaijan, which also happens to be the name of this foundation. I think he was born with a set of DNA that had music incorporated into them already. Karabakh has been known for centuries as a musical conservatory of the Caucasus, breeding the most recognized musicians, composers, and singers of the whole region. In 1908, the 22-year-old Hajibayev composed the first Azeri opera, Leili and Manjun, a Romeo and Juliet tale of tragic love and madness, scored for both Western and Azeri instruments like the tar and the gaval. And this is a Mugam opera. It's not an emulation of Mugam, but an entirely new genre. And it was created by the composer Hajibayev. A great musician and advocate of modernity, Hajibayev began his career in an era when composers everywhere were taking inspiration from folk music. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? I'm a musician, I'm a singer, and I knew Hajibayev almost uh, started from uh, 1984, actually, the first time that I heard uh, uh, the Uzair Hajibayev name. <laughs> It's a great actually event that we have tonight, especially that's this foundation named by Karaba. Everybody over here, some people they didn't even know who's Uzair Hajibayev, and it's been very helpful, very useful and uh, informative for many people. So I work at the Smithsonian Institution, the National Museums of Asian Art. It was very informative, I have to confess, uh, even though I have my degree in education in music, I had not encountered his name or his reputation before, but I believe I had encountered his opera, the ex very long uh, opera devoted to uh, Leila and uh, Majnun. I have to tell you, first of all, it's been quite wonderful. It's, it's been far more than I uh, anticipated. The music was beautiful and I really enjoyed it and I learned a lot from the whole performance and the whole, all the speakers. It was a really wonderful evening. I'd love to see some of the operas now and I'd love to hear some of the music. I, I was listening to it and I wanted to buy a CD of the music. I'm a chess player and I was invited here to try to arrange for Azerbaijani chess players 
to come to America. It was very informative. I enjoyed this very much. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed listening to the transition from the caucus music to the more northern and European influenced music. It was a very well done performance. It was, it was excellent. I learned a great deal right from the beginning with the speakers, with the singers. It was very interesting, very worthwhile. And the food was good too. Affairs like this are bound to have an impact where people like me, others who don't know much at all about Azerbaijan, will um, be interested now in, in uh, coming to more programs, to, to know more about the country, and certainly the wonderful people, I must add. I liked very much the fact you have today's map and earlier map and uh, to refresh my mind, memory, frankly, as to where Azerbaijan was. I think most Americans don't really know anything about Azerbaijan. We certainly don't know anything about culture in Azerbaijan. So I think it's really important. I think it's a great idea to have a cultural foundation like this. The Karabakh Foundation's mission is to introduce Americans to Azerbaijani culture. On October 3rd, the Karabakh Foundation has a booth at the annual Turkish festival in downtown BC. In October, we have the Karabakh at Home photo exhibition at Studio Gallery and Hanfleur Galleries. In November, my Karabakh art exhibition by young Azerbaijani artist Halim Alaskarova. <laughs> come to our future events? I will indeed. I will absolutely. Uh, most likely I will. Of course I will definitely come and I will probably join their events.